Welcome back to Pure Nebraska. It's not every day that you get military leaders from around the world visiting the heartland, but that's what happened this week when the U.S. Naval War College arranged to have students at the institution find out more about agriculture. In this story, we find out why the students paid a visit to a frontier cooperative grain facility near Syracuse. These military officers from around the world are getting a master's level education at the U.S. Naval War College. Part of the education is to not only see American cities, but American agriculture. We came to Nebraska because we believe that if you want to understand America, you have to understand the agricultural impact to this nation. Frontier Cooperative leaders helped host the group recently at their Syracuse grain facility. The students come from 30 different nations. This is only half the class. We actually have 56 officers from 50 nations. The students here go back to their country with a greater understanding of the United States and our country's vast farming community. We get six trips across of the U.S. in order to see the diversity of what America has to offer. So we've been exploring the New England part and seeing that and now we're going here to Nebraska and seeing a farm and this facility in order to just have that feeling of what is the Midwest and what, how is that different from New England and Rhode Island where we are stationed and living for a year. Students say they enjoy seeing farm life up close and meeting the farmers themselves. You have this big country and there's such a big difference depending on in which part of uh, the country you are in. And this program is developing connections. The network and the people we uh, have the opportunity to interact with, that's what I'm bringing back home. The U.S. Naval War College has many alumni around the world. There are 40 heads of navies and coast guards in the position today that have one thing in common, and that is the United States Naval War College. It's a program designed to educate, but may also be playing a role in promoting peace and goodwill around the world. This um, program has been in existence at the U.S. Naval War College since 1956. Our head of the Navy invites other nations to come and attend the institution. And we understand that when your nation can only send one or two, we recognize that we are getting their nation's best. So part of our efforts here is we tell people we're building ships just not ships of iron or steel. If we are doing our job right amongst these nations and future leaders, that we're building partnerships and relationships and friendships that last well beyond the shores of the United States.